While it is a mess around here, southern Minnesota took the brunt of the snowstorm. Crash after crash forced part of 35 to shut down south of the Twin Cities yesterday afternoon. Several southern Minnesota counties were under a blizzard warning. A foot of snow had already fallen in some areas by mid-afternoon. Strong wind sent snow flying sideways, blinding drivers and making roads slippery. So icy, they're sliding off the roads. We're hearing that the plows have been taken off the roads. Um, the visibility you can barely see in front of you. It's pretty nasty with the wind and everything. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Meteorologist Matt Brickman is keeping an eye on our conditions today from the WCCO rooftop. Matt, looks like it's sunny out there. Is it any warmer? Uh, it's slowly warming up. We're in the 20s right now. The sunshine helps along with some lighter winds after yesterday's gusty 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. Still a little bit of a chill in the air though. Right now we're at 22 with that wind out of the northwest. Feels like 12. I want to give a little context to the snow because I know we all like to think a foot of snow is common in the Twin Cities. We've been keeping records for about 130 years for snowfall in the Twin Cities and we've only had about 20 to 25 storms that were bigger than this one. The last time was in 2011, 13.8 inches of snow and then 2010 the dome collapsed 17 incher. Still sitting at the top of course at Halloween blizzard of 1991. Partly sunny skies for the remainder of the day today and we'll settle right around 26 for a high. Pretty quiet tonight and a little bit of a warm up tomorrow but we've got 40s in the forecast for later this week. I've got that for you coming up in just a bit. All right. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.